Good morning, Mr Newcomb. Up right and early. Duty calls, Mrs Harris. Uh, my niece, Portia. Oh, delighted, I'm sure. away. Aren't you awfully early? It's gone half past one, dear. No. Christ, my bloody audition! <laughs> We're having a thing to wear. Oh, you look lovely in anything, dear. What about this? Oh, what have you done with my script? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, for God's sake. Good luck, sweetheart. Thanks, darling, you're an angel. <laughs> what would I do without you? <laughs> But isn't that marvellous, Mrs. H? I don't trust you, sake. <laughs> what can I get you, ladies? It's been a lucky week. Two pounds and lemon. Every week's lucky if you're a bookmaker. You're not wrong there, love. Two pounds and lemon, please. Of course, now I've got your company. I'm in Clover. You think you get our company for one drink, Mr. Archie? <laughs> now, these two are a proper judge of character. They like you, Ada Harris. Why do they stick with you if they're so smart? Why do you stick with her? They're so crabby. Met her my first shift building planes. Never had a better friend. Trouble with this one? She always speak the truth. <laughs> Can't help herself. That is a terrible affliction. <laughs> All right, baby shop ladies. I'll be watching you. been over a long time. Your head is never coming back. Go on. Dear Mrs. Harris, please find and close the personal effects of Sergeant Edward Harris, recovered from a crash site near Warsaw, Poland. As a result of this discovery, Sergeant Harris is now posted killed in action. 2nd March 1944. Please await further communication from RAF of Central Administration. Oh, Ada. I'm so sorry. I, I, I should have known. He would have got back to me if he could have, in one way or another. Well, that's that then. Footloose and fancy free.
and with love. I hope it was quick. Miss you. No, the evening do, absolutely, but not the wedding breakfast. Uh, you know, Miss, 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 Miss Harris, excuse me, could you just, mm, just take that? Yeah, yeah. No, that is extortion. You must go back and explain to them that we can't possibly afford that. No, of course it must be champagne. I, I, I remind them that Charles is their MP. That must be worth something, huh? Yes. <laughs> Toodle pip. This wedding's going to be the death of me. Do you have children, Mrs. Harris? A nightmare of expense from start to finish. Oh, uh, yes. Poor old Admiral Dance had to make the ultimate sacrifice. Setting sail for Christie's and Barmia shores. Dreadful man, by all accounts. Talking of accounts, Lady Dan, I was wondering if you might be able to We've set... been tightening our belts for so long now, it's a miracle we can all still breathe. <laughs> Isn't it divine? I swore I would never set foot in the Avenue Montaigne, but what with the wedding and when in Paris and the moment I laid eyes on Ravissant, I was ravished to the tune of 500 pounds. 500 quid for a dress? Shh, 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 Lord Dant, I don't mind admitting things have been a bit bloody of late, but when I put it on, nothing else matters. Now, quickly, hide it away. His lordship must not see it until I've had time to work on it. 